online K-12 basic education curriculum for the alternative learning system as K-12. Learning strand 3, mathematical and problem solving skills. Module. What is a cooperative? Lesson 1. The importance of working together. What is this module about? Have you ever tried working with a group of people? Was it easy or difficult? How did you accomplish? What do you think is the difference between working alone and working with other people? Some things are done better and faster when people work together in a group. We are all members of a group. We belong to our families. We belong to our communities. We live and work with many different groups of people every day. Another way we can work with other people to achieve a common objective is by joining a cooperative. Would you like to know more about cooperatives? Then this module would be very useful to you. I'm sure you will find it interesting and learn a lot from it. It has three lessons, namely, Lesson 1, the importance of working together. Lesson 2, the benefits that cooperatives can give you and your community. Lesson 3, Types of cooperatives. There are two modules written about cooperatives. This is the first one. It will teach you what a cooperative is. The second module entitled How to Form a Cooperative will teach you how to start a cooperative, plan its activities, and keep it going. After studying this module, you should be able to explain the importance of working with other people toward the common good, explain the benefits that cooperatives can give you and your community, and identify the different types of cooperatives. Let's see what you already know. Before you start studying this module, take the following test to help you find out how much you already know about the topics to be discussed. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, people working together to achieve a common objective. A will just meddle with each other's affairs and not accomplish anything? B. Can achieve much if they work hard together toward the common good? C. Will not get far if they do not have a wealthy member who can provide whatever money they need? D. Can achieve anything regardless of their attitudes toward each other and toward their work? Two, there is a great need for cooperative in communities where A. People are poor and do not have enough means to meet all their needs. B. People are employed and able to send their children to school. C. Public utilities like electricity and water are poorly divided, provided. D. There are enough stores selling everyday needs at reasonable prices. E, both A and C. F, both B and D.
Number three, Mang Bogart is a casual laborer and does not earn enough to send his children to school. Mang Kiko does not have a job and his family cannot eat three square meals a day. A cooperative can help Mang Bogart and Mang Kiko buy people are poor and do not have enough means to meet all their needs. A. Providing opportunities to improve their livelihood. B. Training them so they can gain useful skills. C. Making them envious of the success of other members of the community. D. Both A and B. Four, Barangay Malayo has only one small store selling items needed every day. Its residents either buy from this one store at high prices or make long trips to the population to buy cheaper goods. Cooperative can help Barangay Malayo buy A. Buying a jeepney which residents can use to go to stores in the population. B. Putting up a store in the community that will sell items at reasonable prices. C. Building a road that will serve as a shortcut to the population. D. Teaching its members to consume less or to make do with less. Number 5. The residents of Barangay Sampaguita are skilled at fine embroidery. They get orders from many stores in Manila. However, they do not have enough capital to buy fabric and thread. They have no choice but to get capital from money lenders who charge very high interest. A cooperative can help Barangay Sampaguita by A. Asking money lenders not to charge high interest. B. Informing the people about other ex existing money lenders who charge lower interests. C. Lending money to the residents and charging lower and more reasonable interest. D. Educating the residents about other possible businesses they could invest on. Let's check your answers. Number one. People working together to achieve a common objective. Answer. B. People working together for a common objective would naturally want to achieve that objective. They can do this if they work hard together and think of the common good. 2. There is a great need for a cooperative in communities where. Answer. E. Both A and C. Cooperatives are most helpful in communities where people's needs are not met. Usually, these are employment opportunities and everyday needs like food, shelter, electricity, and water. Number 3. Mang Bogart is a casual laborer and does not earn enough to send his children to school. Mang Kiko does not have a job and his family cannot eat three square meals a day. A cooperative can help Mang Bogart and Mang Kiko buy. People are poor and do not have enough means to meet all their needs. Answer D. Both A and B. Both Mang Bogart and Mang Kiko find it hard to look after the needs of their families because they do not earn enough. One goal of our cooperatives is to help their members earn higher incomes. They can do this by providing opportunities to improve their livelihood and training them so they can gain useful skills. Number 4. Barangay Malayo has only one small store selling items needed every day. Its residents either buy from this one store at high prices or make long trips to the population to buy cheaper goods. A cooperative can help Barangay Malayo buy Answer B. 
The people of Barangay Malayo need stores from which they can buy their everyday needs at reasonable prices. One way for a cooperative to solve this problem would be to put up stores that sell everyday items. This is actually done by consumers cooperatives and many people are attracted to these cooperatives. 5. The residents of Barangay Sampaguita are skilled at fine embroidery. They get orders from many stores in Manila. However, they do not have enough capital to buy fabric and thread. They have no choice but to get capital from money lenders who charge very high interest. A cooperative can help Barangay Sampaguita buy Answer C. One type of cooperative is the credit cooperative, which could lend money to people or other organizations at reasonable interest. This type of cooperative encourages people to establish their business through financial support by lending money. If all your answers are correct, very good. This shows that you already know much about the topics in this module. You may still study the module to review that you already know. Who knows, you might learn a few more th new things as well. If you get the low score, don't feel bad. This means that this module is for you. It will help you understand some important concepts that you can apply in your daily life. If you study this module carefully, you will learn the answers to all the items in the test and more. Are you ready? Lesson 1. The importance of working together. Why is it important for people to learn to work together? What are the advantages of working together compared to working alone? These questions will be answered in this lesson. After studying lesson 1, you should be able to explain the importance of working with other people toward the common good and Give examples of situations demonstrating how working together with other people can be more beneficial than working alone. Let's read. The Aguilars and the Marianos have been next door neighbors for many years. Mr. Aguilar and Mr. Mariano both work at the city hall. Mrs. Aguilar and Mrs. Mariano are both plain housewives. The two families enjoy each other's company. The two mothers chat now and then. One family invites another family on special occasions. The two mothers have been worrying about the rising cost of food. Every time they went to the market, they felt that they spent more yet bought less. They decided to do something about this. Mrs. Mariano not noticed that there were many things that both families frequently bought. For example, both of them always had rice, dried fish, vinegar, and other condiments in their shopping list. Mrs. Mariano knew that these items would be cheaper when bought in bulk. She made a suggestion to Mrs. Aguilar. They would buy these items in big quantities and divide the goods between the two households. That way, they could save money. They tried Mrs. Mariano's plan for a month. Instead of buying rice by the kilo, they had a caban delivered to them. Instead of buying vinegar and other condiments in small 250 milliliter bottles, they bought these two in two little bot bottles. Then they divided the goods between the two families. At the end of the month, they sat together and computed how much they had saved 
They were very pleased to find that each of them had saved 150 pesos. Mrs. Aguilar also suggested a way for them to cope with the rising prices. Both of them had dressmaking skills. They could supply their neighbor Aling Nene with simple house clothes for her dress stall in the market. They talked to Aling Nene about this and made their first delivery after two months. Between the two of them, they earned a profit of 1,000 pesos. The two ladies were very proud of the success of their plans. Their husbands appreciated their efforts to help improve the family income. They were even able to teach their children a thing or two about hard work, thrift, and helping one another. Let's think about this. In the story that you read, Mrs. Bo both Mrs. Mariana and Mrs. Aguilar wanted to cope with the rising cost of food. This was their common goal. To achieve their goal, they decided to work together. By working together, they saved money without having to buy less food. They also used their skills to help them earn extra income. In the end, they both achieved their goal. Could they have succeeded if they worked separately? Perhaps, but it would have been more difficult. For example, what would have happened if Mrs. Sagular decided to buy by the bulk alone? She would have to spend for, say, a caban of rice all by herself. She may not have this amount ready at once. However, she shared the cost with Mrs. Mariano, so both of them were able to buy the amount of rice they needed at a cheaper price that than if they bought by the kilo. We are often taught by our parents and elders to self-reliant. They encourage us to fend for ourselves without depending on others for help. But did you know that working together with other people can help us achieve our goals faster and more easily? When we work together with other people, we share the work that needs to be done. Things can also be done faster and better than when we work by ourselves. People working together, however, must share a common goal in order for them to successfully reach their objectives. In fact, people with the same objectives should work together to make their task easier. What about their dressmaking venture? Could Mrs. Aguilar have succeeded just by herself? Let us say that she received a big order of clothes. She would have gotten very tired from working long hours to meet this order. However, she and Mrs. Mariano decided to work together. They were able to deliver the goods in on time and both of them earned good money. By working together, Mrs. Aguilar and Mrs. Mariano were able to improve the lives of their families. They were also able to help each other during a time of need. What Mrs. Aguilar and Mrs. Mariano did can also be done by a bigger group. Several people with common needs and common goals can work together. They can plan how to achieve their objectives. They can carry out this plan together. If they succeed, each member would have helped not only himself or herself, but the other members of the group as well. Let's review. Review the important points of the story by completing the following sentences. Mrs. Mariano and Mrs. Aguilar were worried about the rising blank of food. Mrs. Mariano had a blank. They would buy goods by the blank and divide this between them. 
This way, they would be able to supply their families' basic needs at blank cost. After one month, they found out that each of them blanked 150 pesos. The two ladies had dressmaking blank. They supplied the dress stall in the market with simple house clothes. Their first delivery earned them a blank of 1,000 pesos. Mrs. Mariano and Mrs. Aguilar were happy with their black. Their husbands also appreciated their black. What they did also taught their children about hard blank, blank, and one another. The completed sentences should read as follows. Mrs. Mariano and Mrs. Aguilar were worried about the rising cost of food. Mrs. Mariano had a plan. They would buy goods by the bulk and divide these between them. This way, they would be able to supply their families basic needs at lower costs. After one month, they found out that each of them saved 150 pesos. The two ladies had dressmaking skills. They supplied the dress stall in the market with simple house clothes. Their first delivery earned them a profit of 1,000 pesos. Mrs. Mariano and Mrs. Aguilar were happy with their success. Their husbands also appreciated their efforts. What they did also taught their children about hard work, thrift, and helping one another. The underlying words are important in the discussion of cooperatives. You will encounter some of them again in this module and in the second module on cooperatives. Let's see what you have learned. Read the story carefully. Click the Take Exam button at the upper right corner to answer the questions about the story. Juan Pedro and Dario are fishermen from Barangay Matubig, Batangas. They grow up together in the same community and are very good friends. Their families are also close with one another. Juan Pedro and Dario share the same problem, which is earning enough to meet their family's needs. They only rent their fishing boats from Mr. Chua, who charges them expensively. Their income is reduced into half after paying their boat rental, which make it, makes it difficult for them to save money. Since the three experienced the same problems, they thought of buying a big fishing boat wherein they could all work together. They consulted their families about their plan and their families were very supportive. They all agreed that they should buy a second-hand fishing boat which could be paid monthly. This way, it won't be difficult to pay for the boat. Their families suggested that in terms of income, they would divide their earnings equally, including the payment for the fishing boat. Juan, Pedro, and Dario were able to buy a boat from Mr. Saliendra. Mr. Saliendra sold his big fishing boat because he wanted to buy a bigger one. He even agreed that he paid at the end of every month for the boat. The boat was to be paid for three years or even less depending on the income of the three. Juan, Pedro, and Dario weren't the only ones who worked together. Their wives also helped them in earning money. Their wives put up a stall near the town to sell some of their husband's catch. Their wives took turns in a day to look after their goods. They also saved money and deposited it in a bank. 
Some of the money they earned was used for maintaining their small store. store. After five years, Juan, Pedro, and Dario were able to buy two additional boats. They were even able to hire new fishermen. Their business expanded. They were able to save money in the bank and provide for the needs of their families. Another good thing that happened was that their wife's business also grew. Now they don't only have three stalls in different towns, they also supply fish to restaurants. The fish are in turn supplied by their fishermen husbands. Every Sunday, the three families gather and have lunch together. Sometimes they talk about their past when they could barely buy anything. Let's watch a video on Philippine Cooperatives by Cooperative Development Authority of the Philippines. Ang naging isang pagsasaka. Ang naging isang makikisda. Ang tindera. Driver. O sino mang tao. Kapag naging isa, ay halos walang boses. Halos walang kapangyarihan. Ngunit, kapag nagsama-sama at nagtulungan ang mga may parehong layunin at adhikay, sila ay nagkakaroon ng kapangyarihan at lakas. Yan ang prinsipyo ng kooperatiba. Napatunayan na ng ibang pansa tulad ng Korea at Malaysia na umuunlad ang ekonomiya kapag laganap ang mga kooperatiba. Sa Pilipinas, matagal ng programa ng pamahalaan ang pagtatayo ng mga kooperatiba sa ating bansa. Upang mamahala at gumabay sa mga kooperatiba sa Pilipinas, itinatag ang Cooperative Development Authority noong March 10, 1990 sa visa ng RA 6939. Layunin ng CDA nasiguraduhin ang paglago ng mga kooperatiba bilang paraan upang lumaganap ang kapayapaan at mabawasan ang kahirapan. Mula sa Central Office sa Quezon City at sa labing lima na extension offices sa buong bansa, isinusulong ng Cooperative Development Authority ang kagalingan, tatatagan, integridad at pagsasama-sama sa pagpapatakbo ng mga kooperatiba. Ang gabay ng CDA tungo sa kaunlaran ay ang Philippine Cooperative Medium Term Development Plan. Alinsunod sa planong ito ang pagkakaroon ng social contract with the Filipino people kung saan isinusulong ang isang bansang umuunlad at nabibiyayaan ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng paghasa sa ating kakayanan at responsabling paggamit ng likas na yaman ng Pilipinas. Upang maatin ang mga layunin ng social contract, nagkaroon ng limang policy directions. Policy direction number one, strengthening and enhancing delivery mechanisms of the Cooperative Development Authority. Bilang punong tanggapan ng pamahalaan sa pagsasaayos ng kilusang kooperatiba, ang CDA ay laging kumikilos upang pag-ibayuhin ang servisyo nito. Bilang katibayan, Ito ay nakatanggap ng ISO 9001-2008 certification ayon sa Government-Wide Quality Management Program noong December 12, 2012. Ang ISO 9001-2008 ay isang pangdaidig na pamantayan na ibinibigay lamang sa mga kagawarang nagpakita ng pinakamataas na antas ng galing sa pamamalakan. Policy Direction number 2 Providing an enabling environment for the strengthening and development of cooperatives. Tumutulong ang Cooperative Development Authority di lamang sa pagtatata ng kooperatiba, kundi pati na rin sa pagsasaayos ng mga problema nito. Ang Pagumbayan Primary Multipurpose Cooperative sa Llanera Nueva Ecija 
ay nag-umpisa lamang sa tatlong pagpasabi na pawang mga magsasaka. Nagsimula ang kooperatibang pagpautang sa mga kasabi. Noong 1995, isang kalamidad ang sumira sa ani ng mga kasabing magsasaka at naging dahilan ito sa pagkaluging at pagsasara ng kooperatiba. Sa tulong ng Cooperative Development Authority at ng Land Bank of the Philippines, bumangon muli ang bagong bayan primary multipurpose cooperative at sa kasalukuyan ay nananatiling matatag at nagbibigay ng servisyo sa mga kasabi. Noong 2012, Nabigyan ang BPMPC ng CDA Gawad Parangal Most Outstanding Medium Scale Category. Sa Batangas naman, noong 1960, napeste ang mga taniman ng kahel at napilitang lumipan sa pagmamanok at pagbababoy ang mga magsasaka. Upang masiguro ang supply ng pagkaing hayop, itinatag ang Incoma Multipurpose Cooperative Mula sa isang inupahang feed mill, lumaki at umunlad ang lipoma hanggang sa maging isa sa pinakamalaking feed mill sa buong Batangas. Policy Direction Number 3 Ensuring Local and Global Competitiveness of Cooperatives Ang Tagong Cooperative sa Tagong City, Davao del Norte, ay ginawaran ng Cooperative Development Authority ng Most Outstanding Large Scale Cooperative dahil sa dami ng mga miyembro at laki ng kita at assets nito. Alaga ng tagong cooperative ang mga miyembro nito sa aspeto ng pagnenegosyo, edukasyon, kalusugan at iba pa. Ang tagong cooperative ay nasa billionaire category na na may dalawang bilyong piso ng assets at higit sa walong pungkibong miyembro. Ang Tagong Co-op ay nakatanggap na akreditasyon mula sa finance organizations achieving certified credit union standards at sa World Council of Credit Unions dahil sa kanyang matatag na estadong pinansya. Sa paya naman ng Panabo Tabaw del Norte, ang Panabo Multipurpose Cooperative na itinatag noong 1965 ng isang pari at labing limang lider paropo ay nagbibigay ng tulong pinansyal sa mga mamamayan ng panabo at karatik na lugar. Ang PMPC ay isa ding focus accredited na kooperatima kaya nakakasiguro ang mga kasapi ng matatag at pinakamodernong serbisyong pananalami. Policy Direction Number 4 Promoting cooperativism as the vehicle for social transformation for people, planet, prosperity, and peace. Tignan natin ang Lamak Multipurpose Co. sa bayan ng Lamak Pinabungahan, Cebu. Sino ang mag-aakala noong 1973 ay iwan ang kuryente, tubig o daan ang barangay Lamak? Ngunit ngayon, ang barangay na ito ay isang maunlad na lugar. Naging susi ang Lamak Multipurpose Co-op sa pagbangon sa kahirapan ng barangay. Sa tulong ng kamahalaan at ng Cooperative Development Authority ng LMPC, nabigyan puhunan at hanap buhay ang mga mamamayan ng Lamak at ng iba't iba pang lugar. Ang Lamak Multipurpose Co-op ay isa sa pinakamalaki sa bansa na may libu-libong miyembro at milyon-milyong mga assets. Ang Pandibulakan ay kilala sa paggawa ng mga barong at terno. Ngunit laging hirap ang mga mananahi sa pagkampat ng tela at sinuhin. Ngayon, ang bagong baryo multipurpose cooperative ang naniniguro na ang mga kasabi nito ay may sapat na materyales na nakukuha sa murang halaga. At sinisikap na makilala ang produkto ng kooperatiba sa buong bansa. Sila ay ginawaran ng Cooperative Development Authority ng Most Outstanding Cooperative Medium Scale Category noong 2013. Sa kalapan, oriental 
Isidoro naman. Itinatag ang Al Sedeco noong 1970 upang mangalaga sa kapakanan ng mga trabahador sa Kalapan Port. Maraming negosyo ang Al Sedeco sa pangkalan tulad ng Roro, Waybridge Operation, Portrait, at Line Handling Services. Ang mga kasapi nito ay nagtatamasa ng maraming benepisyo at serbisyo mula sa kooperatiba. Ang Calcedeco ay ginawara ng CBA ng Gawad Parangal Most Outstanding Cooperative Medium Scale Category noong 2012 at ng Special Citation for Exemplary Environmental Protection and Conservation Program noong taong 2013. Kabuhayan at kapakanan ng ating mga sundalo naman ang pinangangalagaan ng Philippine Army Finance Center Producers Integrated Cooperative o PAPCIVIC. Itinatag noong 1981 sa Fort Bonifacio ang PAPCIVIC. Ngayon ay mayroong higit sa 75,000 miyembro at higit sa 6 billion pesos in assets. Ang saring-saring serbisyo at mga negosyo ng kooperatiba ay nagpapaganda ng buhay para sa mga sultano at kanilang mga pamilya. Policy Direction Number 5 Mainstreaming of Cooperative Membership Naniniwala ang Cooperative Development Authority na kapag marami ang serbisyong ibinibigay ng isang kooperatiba at tumutukod ito sa pangangailangan ng mga tao, mas dumadami ang mahihikayat na sumabi dito. Tulad na Aurora Integrated Multipurpose Cooperative sa Zamboanga del Sur, itinatag noong 1967 ng mga paring Columban. Nagsimula ito sa 44 na kasabi na merong 400 pesos na kapital nang ang Inco ay nakipagsanib sa isang rural brand noong 1988, lumagana ang serbisyong pananalapin nito tulad ng pag-iimpok, pautang at iba pang gawain pang Ngayon, umigit sa isang daang libo na ang kasapi ng Inco. Dahil dito, ginawaran sila ng CDA Gawad Parangal 2012 Best in Membership Growth and Expansion. Sa San Dionisio, Paranaque City, Metro Manila, naging haligi sa kaundaran ang San Dionisio Credit Cooperative. Itinatag noong 1973 bilang isang community cooperative, ang SDCC ngayon ay nangangalaga sa mga kasapi nito patungkol sa pananalami, edukasyon, kalusugan, negosyo at marami pang iba. Aktibo din ang SDCC sa mga isyong panlibunan sa lugar nito. Napakarami din ng serbisyong inihahatid ng Soro-Soro Ibaba Development Cooperative ng Batangas. Bukod sa paiwi o contract growing ng baboy, meron ding communal pig farm, fertilizer production, biogas plant, at iba pang serbisyo sa mga nag-aalaga ng baboy. Ang Sidsi ay mayroon ding supermarket, cable TV service, gas station, at savings and loans facilities. Nakapagtayo din ito ang isa sa pinakamodernong feed mill sa bansa na may output na higit sa siyang nalibong sakong feeds sa araw-araw. Dahil sa Sidsi, umunlad ang kabuhayan ng libu-libong kasapi nito sa buong Pilipinas. Ang layuning maparami ang mga kasapi ng kooperatiba ay natutupad kapag nakipagsangit pwersa ang CDA sa iba't ibang sangay ng pamahalaan tulad ng Department of Agrarian Reform, Department of Agriculture, Philippine Coconut Authority, at iba pa. Mas dumadami ang serbisyo, mas dumalaki din ang sumasabi sa mga kooperatibang ito. Patulong ng mga kooperatiba sa pagmula, ang National Confederation of Cooperatives o NAC. Itinayo noong 1997 bilang isang secondary co-op, layunin ng NAC na magbigay ng pagsasanay at kaalaman sa mga miyembro nitong primary cooperatives. Noong Dis. 
Disyembre 2013, mayroon ang kumigit sa 23,000 iba't ibang kooperatiba sa bansa para sa mga kasapi at sa kanilang mga pamilya. Naging daan para sa kauntaran ang pagsapi sa kooperatiba. Sa pagkakabuklod-buklod ng ating mga kababayan, nagkaroon sila ng boses upang sila'y marinig. Lakas upang sila'y magkatulungan sa pag-unla. Patutag na ang kabuhay namin ng Diyos ako. Pumulat ang negosyo namin. Buhat na sa mali kami sa kapag-iba. Hindi dahil sa ko, hindi ako makakapag-aral. Maraming salamat sa co-owner. Ang kooperatiba ang inasahan namin para sa kalusunga ng aming pamilya. Pati kaligtasan na alagaan ng kooperatiba namin. Para sa isang sundalo, malaki ang naitutulong ng cooperative. Layunin ng Cooperative Development Authority na makita ang isang bansang mapayapa at maunyan. Sa pagtutulungan ng ating mga pinuno, magpabatas at mga kooperatiba, magsasama-sama din tayong lahat sa tagumpay ng bayang Pilipinas. Sumali na tayo sa Pilosang Kooperatiba sa pangunguna ng Cooperative Development Authority at sa pagsisikap ng mga kooperatiba, gaganda ang ating kinabukasan. Makipagugnayan sa pinakamalapit na sangay ng Cooperative Development Authority o tumawag sa telepono bilang 725-3764. Click the Take Exam button at the upper right corner to see what you have learned about what a cooperative is. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Participate in the discussion forum thread by answering the following question. Do you agree with the saying, no man is an island? Why? Thank you very much for watching. Credits. Special thanks to all the people who made and released these awesome resources for free. Department of Education, .ph for the teaching guides and modules. Presentation template by Slides Carnival. Photographs by Unsplash. Videos. Presentation about cooperatives in the Philippines by Cooperative Development Authority.